part three, guys. We're gonna hopefully finish edge pairing in this part. So right now, is of course we have three edges done. So let's get down to it or whatever. Um, let's see. Um, let me just find a good one real quick. It might take a second. Actually, I'll just find one. Here's a yellow red. Just get this on the middle row. And here is a yellow red, so get this so that it's gonna connect with the other one. And then you can connect them like that. Now we gotta find the other yellow reds. Here's one. Just get this down so that you can connect them like that. And we have one more to get. Let's see here. Here it is. It's really close to it, and you can just turn it to connect them. Replace this with the unsolved layer on the top or bottom. So, here we go. And you can reconnect the centers if you want, but I'm not gonna because it saves a lot of time. Here are two red blacks, and here's a red black, so I can get that on the midsection so that, that can connect there. And. Here's red, black, and just connect these, then replace it with an unsolved layer on top or bottom, and what do you know, here's two already, let's do this, here's one, but it needs to be flipped because those don't match, so we're just going to flip this, if you don't know it, this, it's pretty easy to flip it, okay, now, you can connect these like that, and now we need to get to the last one, which happens to be right here. So just replace that so that they're correct and they can line up like that when you replace them, like that. And now, we'll replace this with an unsolved layer again. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, I'll do it up from here. Now, I noticed that. This is already two connected right here, red and green, so let's go for that. Here's a red and green, right over here, so that's pretty awesome. Usually don't get this lucky. And you gotta find the last red and green, just looking for red and green. Here it is. It's over here, so we gotta put it on this, put it on the top row, and then flip it right so that it's gonna match these like that, and then just turn it like that, so you have that, and replace it with the unsolved layer on the top, bada bop, I don't know what that was, um, here we have this blue black, blue black, you can connect these, here's another one, and you gotta find the last blue black, here it is, so, get it so you can connect them like that, and then replace it with the unsolved layer on the top. And then we are all done. Like once you got the four on the bottom and the four edges on the top like this, you actually can replace the centers now. And hopefully you did it right. If you messed up, then try again. Anyway, once you have this, there's four more edges to pair, and these four edges are tougher. Let's just say that. They're not that bad though, I guess. But anyway, let's just see. Let's start out with this one. This one already has two with it. So, um, let's see. Here's one that can connect with it, but you don't connect it yet, because you don't do that. Um, let's see. Actually, yeah. Just connect, bring, like, when you want to connect some, put an unsolved layer on the top, and then just connect them like that, so you have the ones that you want to connect, and then replace this with the unsolved layer, and then just replace the centers, like that, and then you want to get this, what you just done, on the bottom, but you want to get it right next to the other one that needs to be solved, like that, and you just do the same thing, replace the top layer with the unsolved layer, while you connect what you want to solve, and then replace this with the unsolved layer, and realign the centers. And 
there will always be an unsolved layer that you want to replace with the top layer either on the top or bottom depends on how you do it anyway let's just do another one I guess hmm. here's one that we can do you can turn these two so they can match up like that but before you do that of course replace this with unsolved layer and then do that so you have the, those like that and replace this with unsolved layer on the top and finish the centers and gotta find up oh, yeah. then once you have the last two they're kind of a little tricky themselves too but we can do it basically this is one of the cases there's a couple different cases you can have but if you ever come across a case like this where you have these two facing like that what you want to do is you want to turn this right side you want to do R2 like that and then you want to do you want to bring it all the way over here over here and then you want to do this algorithm which I'll probably put the algorithm on the screen or in the information box but I'll do it right now and if you already know how to solve a 4x4 you should know this algorithm so basically what that will do in that case it is it will pair this up and then you'll still have these left to be paired up and this is a parity algorithm and if hold on for a second okay sorry about that but this same algorithm looks like this on the 4x4 when you need to flip this edge so you can do the same case so I'll just put this algorithm either on the screen or in the description but I'm just going to do it right now it's a pretty long algorithm and there's a couple more cases hold on There is a case like this, we have this like this, you know, and this is a really easy case to do for the last two. Basically, you just do an algorithm, which I'll put on the screen. And that will finish that. And let me think, there's numerous cases you can have. I can't really go over all of them because there's just so many different cases, but you can probably figure it out if you know how to solve a 4x4 and 5x5. So that's it for this video. There'll be one more part and that's finishing it up. So yep, thank you for watching and bye.